Labour unions have demanded that the government reconsider its decision to allow the taxi industry to operate with 100% loading capacity. Hospera and Casato have both publicly slammed the decision and labelled it as reckless. Casato has threatened mass action against Transport Minister Figila Mbulula and taxis over his decision to let them operate at full capacity. Madagascar's coronavirus herbal concoction is not as potent as claimed to cure the coronavirus. In a report presented to the Health Ministry on Sunday, National Institute of Pharmaceutical Research and Development said safety studies showed that COVID organics, or CVO, did not alter the normal physiology of the animals. In April, Madagascar's president officially launched the CVO, claiming that it can prevent and cure patients of the novel coronavirus. In a first for the Arab world, the United Arab Emirates has successfully launched a spacecraft to Mars as part of a project to study the Martian climate. Bad weather on Earth almost stopped its launch, but after the skies cleared, the Hope probe took off successfully from Japan this morning. The science team which worked on the project was 80% women and was led by Salah Al-Amiri, who is also the UAE's Minister for Advanced Technology. A gunman shot and killed the 20-year-old son of federal judge Esther Salas as he answered the door of the family home on Sunday in New Jersey and shot and wounded the judge's husband before fleeing. The perpetrator, believed to be a lone gunman posing as a FedEx delivery person, was not in custody. More recently, Salas has decided over an ongoing lawsuit brought by Deutsche Bank investors that includes convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. We look at your financials for today.